Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you absolutely fantastic chess game. This is the game between Max Lang and Schiestet. It was played in Breslau in 1868. And where is Breslau? You will need to ask German and Polish people. They know the history of this city. In this game, Max Lang had white pieces and he played e4. Schiestet played e5. Knight to c3. Knight to c6. And now f4. Vienna game. Pawn takes pawn. Knight to f3. Vienna game can sometimes transpose to king's gambit. g5 was played. Bishop to c4. g4. Already a critical position. That is if you are not a Vienna player. Just imagine that you have white pieces. What would you play? Please pause the video and try to find your move. Would you play knight to g1? That looks like a safe move, doesn't it? But in the game, Max Lang castled kingside, sacrificing his knight. Pawn takes knight. You move again. What would you play? Queen takes pawn on f3 comes to mind, doesn't it? This looks like a reasonable move. Max Lang played d4. Pawn takes pawn on g2, attacking rook on f1. Black is a knight and two pawns up. Is it time to get some material back? Your move, what would you play? This is natural move, king takes on g2. After knight to f6 and say e5, d5, and black is fighting back. What is the move then? Another surprising move. Bishop takes pawn on f7 check. King takes bishop. Queen to h5 check. King to g7 was played. King to e7 is not better. Then knight to d5. King to d6. Bishop takes on f4 check with the winning attack. So we have king to g7. Rook takes pawn on f4. Finally it was easy to predict this one. And threat is rook to f7 checkmate. For example, if d6 is played then rook to f7 checkmate. So black played knight to h6 defending f7 bringing more soldiers to the front line. d6, black wants to bring bishop in the game. Just to remind you that black is two pieces up. On the negative side for black, his king is trembling from fear of dying. Knight to e2, queen to e7, king takes pawn on g2, bishop to e6, Rook from a to f1. And now bishop to f7 attacking white queen. This is another critical position of the game. What would you play? Please pause the video and try to find the winning move for white. Ready? What did you find? Did you find rook takes bishop on f7? And after knight takes, queen to g4 check, and after knight to g5, bishop takes knight with the winning attack. If you found this one, well done. But in the game, Max Lang sacrificed the queen on h6. Have you considered this one? If you haven't, don't be sad. Don't make you feel better 
I tell you that I haven't considered this one either. What else? King takes queen. Rook to g4, this is discovered check. King to h5, attacking rook. What now? How to save the rook? What would you play? It looks like that rook to f5 is the strongest move. Rook to f5, check. And after king to g4, h3. And after king to h4, bishop to f2, checkmate. Okay. But in the game, we have knight to g3. Max is not saving his rook. His soldiers are dying left, right and center. But he goes after black king. King takes rook. Well, Max has only three pieces left. I hope he wins. If he doesn't, hmm, I will have to delete this video. Let's see what happened. Rook to f5. h6. What now? Why to move? Check. King to h4. White needs to find checkmate or he will lose the game. What would you play? Have you seen this? Check. Sacrificing the rook too. Bishop takes an h5. It is white to move and to checkmate in one. Knight to f5. Checkmate. With only two pieces left. Max checkmated black king. But now I hate to spoil this good story. But I must tell you that black missed a better move at move 18. Let's go to move 18. In this position, h6 was played. There is a better move for black. Can you find a better move? Black should have sacrificed his queen. And after, that is check, and after knight takes queen, king takes rook. And black is winning. Sometimes you have to give material back. But this is not the end. This is the end. Congratulations to Max Lang on his great imagination and winning this game in such a brilliant way. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.